Intimidation, frustration, and domination. The Snake's keys to the championship series. In game one, it got Wichita out of sync, and it got the Snakes on the board. If we stand back a bit, uh, that's no good. we got to come out at them hard and uh, just try and take it to them early. And uh, we did that tonight. And it didn't take them long to do it. Ole Jinstad had his first of two goals only ten minutes into the game. Altogether, the Snakes tallied four goals in the first two periods and then threw in a barrage of three goals in 30 seconds to wrap up the third. You know, the first period was a hard battle and uh, then a few pucks started going our way and stuff, so it opened up quite a bit. And they were getting frustrated because they're the type of team that uh, uh, likes to shoot the puck and crash the net. We weren't allowing any second shots tonight. Not that second shots would have mattered. Frankie Willette stopped all 27 Thunder chances. The first time Wichita had ever been shut out of the playoffs. Was able to see the puck like all the way tonight, so that, that made my job a little bit easier. An 8 nothing route in the first game of the championship final. But even the Cottonmouths will tell you this. Don't expect Wichita to lay down for the rest of the series. For the sports leader, I'm Justin Kazana. This will probably be the only game like this. We're expecting them to come out a lot harder, and, a lot, and uh, we're not expecting this type of game again. Bichard pops out of the box with it. Could have a chance. Bichard near side. Drop past Jinstad. Far side. Martin shot. Bichard scores! Jerome Bichard! It just happened to be uh, at the right place at the right time, coming out of the penalty box. And, uh, you know, going down on a three-on-one with Ole and Mike Martins, it's pretty easy to just tap it in the net, and uh, that's what happened. Three! Two, one, that's your hockey game, folks. The Columbus Cotton Mouse are the Levens Cup champions, the number one team in the Central Hockey League, baby. The champions, how does it feel? I never dreamed of this feeling and uh, hasn't totally sunk in yet, but it, it's awesome. It's awesome. I haven't had a championship in nine years, and uh, just to be part of a class act organization like this, it's just awesome. Columbus has a champion. With sirens blaring and crowds cheering, the Snakes return. Such an uplifting experience, you know, I can't put into words how, uh, how elated the guys are. No, it's unbelievable. Uh, I don't think any of us knew that uh, we were going to get this reception here when we came back. And last night's celebration has added new meaning to Robert Frost's line and miles to go before they sleep. Did you get much sleep last night? No, no, I'm running on empty right now. <laughs> How much sleep you gotten since you won? No comment. <laughs> Still, there seems to be something different about the snakes. I've got it. Before, after. I knew we walked on the bus. The first thing you knew who it was, I thought, gee, that guy's kind of good looking. It was you. <laughs> yeah, my daughter, my wife, she didn't know who I was. I feel, I feel about 10 years younger, so I might be, have to play another 10 years. I don't know. We'll see. Even though the champagne put up more of a fight than the thunder, the snakes have their hearts in the past, but they're looking to the future. For the sports leader, I'm Justin Kazana.
definitely get used to that. That's a, it's, it's amazing. There's so many people here. I never expected this as well. I mean, this is amazing. It's a lot of guys' uh, first parade. It's, uh, uh, you can't put it into words how, uh, how that feels having a people come and cheer you on and uh, parade you downtown. And I mean, it's just awesome. Today is just a beautiful day. It's awesome. Some will remember it for the rest of our lives. It's just, uh, it's just a great feeling. And uh, we personally, I feel grateful to be part of it. brings to the table is a lot of leadership uh, and we're going to be looking for for that from him you know along with Jerome uh, we went from having an old team last year to not to having not that old of a team coming up next year so Mike's a, a big big a big piece of our offensive pie you know having a 50 goal scorer back and a player of the caliber of Mike and the person that he is is big for us Talented guy, he's huge. He hits like a train, and uh, you got guys guys looking over their shoulders, wondering if they're gonna get there the next victim. And uh, like my second goal, that was all him. He came in there, the guy bailed out on him, and he gave me made a beautiful pass. So this guy's this guy's got it all.
opportunities that we do have. I mean, we, we've got a hit. There's no excuse for that. I mean, we can't really... The only thing we can do there is we, we've got to work harder and concentrate harder. Um, opportunities, yeah, we can concentrate harder there, but as long as we're creating the opportunities, we know we're doing something right, and then we don't have to worry, we don't have to worry about that.